Alright, so you guys have been asking for me to bring this series back. Hashtag TBT Throwback Thursday. If you guys are new here and don't know what this series is, it's pretty self-explanatory. Every Thursday, I go back to an old 2K game and I rebuild a team from that game. It's pretty simple. So, uh, let me know down in the comment section what game you guys want me to go on next. I believe I have 2K6 all the way through uh, 2K17, obviously. So, just let me know down in the comment section what game you guys want to see. Now, the team that you're seeing in the title the title and the thumbnail, you're probably like, they, they do not need rebuilding. They are one of the best teams in that game. But, that's the thing. Do they really need rebuilding, though? Well, they need to be rebuilt if I release all three of their best players. Like, look at this team now. Ray Allen, Chalmers, Norris Cole. Like, their best player is Ray Allen, who's 37 years old. So, this is going to be uh, interesting to see where the big three go. Uh, LeBron is a free agent. Wade's a free agent. Bosch is a free agent. Now, we are using the rosters where, um, I believe... Uh, wow, Boogie82. Alright, so Melo and uh, Stoudemire and J.R. Smith on the Knicks, so maybe someone goes there. This is what I'm most worried about. Like, what if, like, LeBron ends up signing with the Lakers for one season? That'll just be crazy. Uh, let me just go through these rosters real quick so you guys can see, uh, everything in its pure glory. Uh, ooh, Kemba. Alright, Kemba and the Charlotte Bobcats. Uh, Derrick Rose, MVP form, Kyrie and 89. Surrounded by a bunch of garbage. So, there are the teams. Let's see where these guys end up signing. Alright, let's just simulate. No, 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 no. I do not want to do that. Let's just go ahead and simulate through that date. So, we can see where the big three end up signing. Oh, wait, okay. We beat the Celtics by almost 20. That actually makes no sense. Alright, so the Houston Rockets end up signing Chris Bosh. The Jazz get Dwayne Wade. And LeBron ends up going to the 76ers. Okay, this Rockets one is, like, interesting because he was supposed to go there in real life, but then he was like, no, I'm just going to go back to the Heat when LeBron went to the Cavs. The Jazz getting weighed and the Sixers getting LeBron. So let, let's just check these rosters out real quick. The Jazz, Wade, Al Jefferson, Paul Millsap, Mo Williams, Randy Foy, Alec Burks. Gordon Hayward was a 68 overall. Oh, my God. All right, we take a look at the 76ers. LeBron, Drew Holiday, Bynum. Yo, that's a, a pretty solid big three. Reminder, this is back when Bynum, like, before his injury, before he went all, like, 32 hairstyles on us and completely changed his hairstyle the whole entire time and completely, like, laid an egg on his whole entire career. Nick Young is on this team. All right, and then we go with the Houston Rockets. James Harden, Chris Bosh, Parsons, back before he actually knew how to play basketball. Uh, Aaron Brooks, Jeremy Lin, Thomas Robinson. All right, so I don't know if I'm going to make any trades here in the first season. I don't think I will, unless if someone's just making an absurd amount of money, which isn't the case at all. I mean, Mike Miller, 12 mil, that's not even too bad. Um, I did go ahead and sign DJ Mbanga, one of the greatest players in NBA history. So let's go ahead, simulate season number one, and let's see what happens here. Maybe the 76ers can win the championship. Kevin Durant wins the MVP award here at the end of season number one. 27 points, 8.2 rebounds, 5.3 assists, 1.4 steals, and 1.6 blocks on the season. Damian Lillard wins the rookie of the year. I believe he did so in real life this season. Klay Thompson, sixth man of the year. I don't know who he's backing up, but he's backing up someone in Golden State. He does win sixth man of the year. Dwight Coward wins the defensive player of the year. Averaged a double-double with points, rebounds, also 1.7 blocks on the season. Most improved player goes to Goran Dragic, 15 points, almost 11 assists, and damn near almost two steals a game. Very impressive from him. And coach of the year, Sixers messed around and went 61-21, and first in the Eastern Conference. So here's the playoff tree. We actually finished with the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference. The Jazz get the eighth seed, and the Rockets are nowhere to be found. Now, one thing I don't like about past 2Ks is I can't look at the standings. I totally forgot about that. So, next season, I'll simulate until the day after, well, no, the day before the uh, end of the seasons, just so I can uh, show you guys the standings. Season stats on the year league leaders, not what I wanted to go to, but, yo, shout out to Danny Granger, fifth in the league at scoring, man, Danny Granger. Okay, all right. Uh, anyway, player season. Here we go. Ray Allen led our team in points with 19 and a half points a game. Chalmers was 17. Mike Miller 14.2. Uh, nothing else too crazy out of the blue. DJ and Bango with 0.9 points a game. Let's just go ahead simulate this. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we finished like 40 and 42. 
and we still got the four seed and we're gonna get swept because we don't even deserve to be here in the playoffs okay three one let's just see if they can blow a four okay okay all right cool so they end up winning in five games um let's see who wins the nba championship is it gonna be the sixers lebron goes to the sixers and the sixers win the championship against the los angeles clippers lebron joins his buddy Dwayne wade in utah one year four hundred and ninety thousand. okay so pretty much now bosch just needs to go there and they're good so lebron wade jefferson Millsap. yo this team low-key pretty nice though gordon hayward 74 overall canters is a 70 mike dunleavy not really anything too crazy um okay and then the rockets you know are still looking like uh harden bosch parsons and lynn so uh that's kind of interesting so let's just go ahead and get chris anderson and kwame because i mean i need obviously we need kwame on the team and obviously we do need birdman on the team it'll be uh interesting to see where chris paul and dwight howard go so let me just go to training camps simulate past free agency and let's see where these two ended up and of course i can't find it so once again i'm gonna find it and come back to you guys the detroit pistons landed chris paul four years 75 million dollars okay now where did dwight coward go yo jr to the rockets okay that's actually a, a good signing for them but we need to figure out where mr dwight coward went uh did he where did he go i have no idea where he went i honestly have no clue where he went so real quick we're just gonna go here we're gonna go to center and we're gonna find dwight wow wow okay dwight to the Cavs. so nice little dynamic duo of Kyrie and Dwight Coward and you know Dion is slowly turning into one of the greatest players in the NBA so a uh, pretty nice core there for the Cavs but our team not really looking too hot so I might go past my usual three seasons just because we don't look good at all and I think we're gonna have more cap room next season and with surprise to absolutely nobody in the NBA the Jazz top the preseason power ranking so the Utah Jazz probably are going to win themselves an NBA championship this year season the Sixers ready to add another ring to the collection you don't hear that ever uh, uh we landed Tony Allen all right I will take that oh yeah duh that's right we signed him okay so yeah uh like I said team does not look good at all so rotation we're just gonna roll with this Chalmers Tony Allen Steven Jackson Shane Vadier, and Udonis Haslam you know what whatever happens happens I'm not expecting us to do well at all hopefully we can get a top pick and uh just go from there Kevin Durant wins back-to-back -back MVP awards, this time averaging 27, I mean, pretty much 28 points a game, 9 rebounds, 6.1 assists, 1.5 steal, and 1.4 block on the season. Sixth minute of the year goes to Carlos Boozer, throwback to when he actually had hair. DeMarcus Cousins, defensive player of the year. Corey Brewer, most improved player, 15 points a game for him. And Tom Thibodeau wins coach of the year as the Bulls go 62-20, and 20, first in the Eastern Conference. So to no one's surprise, we did not make the playoffs. Uh, pretty sure we finished as the 14th best team in the Eastern Conference. Totally forgot to show the standings at the end of the season. My apologies. We're going to do it next season. The Jazz finish as the two seed and the Rockets finish as the four seed. So should be pretty uh, interesting to see what happens here. Season stats. Let's go to player season. Steven Jackson led our team in scoring. All right, 19.9 points a game is highest. Since the 2009-2010 season, uh, Chalmers with 17 points, Tony Allen 13 points with 1.3 steals a game, Norris Cole, nothing too crazy. I was not expecting us to do well at all. So let's see who wins the NBA championship. Can LeBron win his third straight championship? No, he loses to the Spurs in the first round. And the Chicago Bulls win the championship with an MVP, Derrick Rose, as he does win finals MVP. All right, y'all, we have the third best odds at landing the number one pick. Now, my goal is if I get the number one pick, I'm just going to probably trade it. Like, that's what I want to do. I don't trust 2K's auto-generated players. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully, we just, you know, can either get three, two, or one. I don't want anything lower than three. If we get something lower than three, I'm going to be really upset. And I really like this, you know, draft lottery because it's a lot quicker than 2K now. Because 2K's now take so long to do we're approaching on the third pick the bobcats get the fourth that means we get the first pick first pick let's go i think that was a voice crack not really too sure but uh hey hey we get the number one pick hit cox clippers bobcats mavs magic pistons you guys can read all right so number one pick that is great let me just check out 
the prospect scouting though. Um, C minus on offense. Oh my god. All right, guys. I found the trade I'm gonna make. Jan Vesely in the 24th pick for the number one pick in the NBA draft. When you take a look at Jan Vesely's stats, I mean, like here, like just go to the trade screen. Jan Vesely. All right, you know. 72 overall, but B-plus potential. Do put up 2.6 points last year with 1.9 rebounds. I mean, just take a look at his ratings. Oh, wait, I can't. Okay, well, um, yeah, we're not doing that. That is just complete garbage. So, assistant coach, do it for me because I don't want to do it. Look at how fast that goes. Wow, that's that's just crazy. Okay, who did we draft? Ricky Doyle, 74 overall. Dion Newsom was a 77. Uh, who was I going to take? I totally forgot who I was going to take. I think, I think that's who I was going to take, but I honestly have no idea. Uh, wow, these ratings are actually awful. All right, so there we go. Uh, and we also got Willard Phelps. Hopefully he's related to Michael Phelps. All right, so Ricky Doyle. We got our new star center, 74 overall. Hopefully he has good potential. I hope so. Really hope he does. I don't know if he does or not, but hopefully he does. All right, so we're going into... V in, in, okay, words. Jesus Christ. All right, we're going into word. Oh, my God. We're going into free agency. With $62 million in cap. All right, there we go. Words are hard, like I said. So I think we can land both Paul George and Lance Stevenson. I really don't know, but um, let's just see if it'll work. Paul George, damn it. Okay, well, we can't get Paul George, and I tried to get John Wall. It didn't really work out. All right, but hey, we got Lance Stevenson. I can still get Melo, which is actually crazy to think about that I can still get Melo. You know what? YOLO, man. Let's just, wow. I actually said YOLO. In a video in 2017. Oh my god. Yo, semi bleach. Okay. Um, so John Wall rejected. So did PG. Mello. Mello. Thank you, Mello. Okay, cool. So now let's yo, Shannon Brown. That is a throwback name. Let's get you to be our backup too. Um, I think we need another small forward. Let's go out and bring back Steven Jackson. Actually, what's his overall? 71. Oh my god, there are no good small forwards here. Uh, let's just go with CJ Miles just because he can shoot better than Steven Jackson. Let's go. Okay, so we need a shooting guard, power forward, and a center. All right, cool. CJ, you're supposed to come to the Heat. All right, so the first trade of the video, Lance Stevenson and our first round pick next season for Tamar DeRozan. 83 overall with an A-plus potential. Yeah, one year older, making more money. I don't care. I like that potential, and I like that overall. And you know what, really? I just, I, I just kind of want to make a trade. So sorry, Lance. Love you, but going to the Raptors. All right, so now... This is what could get some controversy in a video. What can I get for Mello? Like, you never know what I can get for Mello. Maybe we can get something, like, super duper crazy here. Uh, Harrison Barnes, if that was Steph, I mean, I would take it. Um, you know what? Okay, let me go over to the Thunder. Let me go to the Thunder and try to do Mello for Kevin Durant. Let me just see if that's even a possibility. I doubt it. There's no way they would take that. Actually, they low-key might. They actually might take it. What if I give you my first round pick this season? Okay, you still decline it. Okay, uh, I'll give you two second round picks as well. That to, you know, to sweeten the pot and they still decline it. So there really wasn't anything too crazy in the trade finder for Melo. And if I'm going to trade him, I'll just do it at the trade deadline. You're probably like, why are you going to trade uh, Carmelo Anthony? Like if, if I can get like three good players for like a 94, like, why wouldn't I do it? So this is what our team looks like here. Start of the third season, we got Mario Chalmers, Shannon Brown, DeMar DeRozan, Mello, and our rookie, Ricky Doyle from Loyola Marymount. Took him with the number one pick in the draft. Norris Cole, six men, Damian James, James Johnson, uh, Anderson Verja, Andre Miller, Shane Battier, Haslam. So this is what the standings are looking like here. One game left to go in the NBA season. So the Sixers have the uh, number one seed. I don't know who they have. Uh, on their team exactly, but uh, this is the interesting part. You have the Knicks, you got the Bobcats, you got the Nets, you got the Pacers, and you got the Heat. All right here. So someone's losing out on a playoff spot. Uh, we basically have to win. That's pretty much what we have to do. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if we win, we still don't get in. So uh, okay, Chris Bosh signed with the Lakers. I know that for a fact. Fact. Uh, words are hard. Uh, the 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 Thunder are 55 and 26. Okay. Uh, let me just check. Real quick, actually, you know what? We're just going to simulate this game. Oh, we... The Bulls, really? 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 The Bulls? Like, out of all teams that we got to beat, we, we got to play the Bulls and we lost. All right, so we don't make the playoffs again. Dude, this is hard. This challenge is difficult. Okay, but uh, we did go... We did coach the rookie of the... Oh, wait, what? Make the... Okay, all right, not... Okay, all right. Kevin Durant, three straight MVPs. 
Rookie of the year, Ricky Doyle, 12.6 points, 8.4 rebounds with one block a game. Carlos Boozer, once again, sixth man of the year. Defensive player of the year goes to Anthony Davis. Most approved player, Derek Favors. And coach of the year goes to Edward Blair. Nice mustache, 49-33. Fourth in the conference and somehow wins it. Taking on uh, the Philadelphia 76ers in the first round. Uh, Andrew Bynum's hurt. What's new? Nothing else too crazy on this team. They do have uh, Aaron Brooks, but that's pretty much it. So we should beat them, but... Like, I feel like because they're the one seed, they're just going to go ahead and beat us. But, I mean, hey, game one was only decided by three points, and then we win by four. So let's just go ahead, take a 3-1 lead, not blow it. Yes, 3-1 lead, just don't blow it. I did not mean to simulate the round, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway. 3-2, I do not like this. 4-2, life is great. Going on to the second round of the playoffs for the first time in this video. Taking on now the Washington Wizards in the second round. Round. John Wall, oh wow, signed a contract, only 65 mil a year. All right. Uh, Bradley Beal and the Nay. Ariza was still on the team. Kevin Serafin, Ameka Okafor, Jan Vesely. Uh, nothing else too crazy on this team. So I feel like we could beat them, but they have a pretty nice duo with John Wall and Bradley Beal. So I don't like our chances too much as we lose game one by 14 points. Lose game two by two. Okay, 2 1. Can we just tie things up? That would make me feel a lot better. Can we take the 3 2 lead? And let's take the 4 2 lead. Okay, or win and you know what you guys know what I was trying to say. All right uh, Who are we gonna face in the Eastern Conference Finals? Okay, uh, I probably shouldn't say that because we're probably going to uh, end up losing Simulate the game and we make it okay. We end up winning at seven winning by eight in game number seven John Wall only 19 points Bradley Beal 14 Mello 17 DeRozan 14 and Mello makes it to the Western Conference for well makes it to a conference finals for the first time since the Western Conference Finals in like 2008, 2009, I want to say. And out east, or out west, dude, I don't know what I'm talking about today. Kings and Jazz, but we are taking on the leading scorer in the playoffs, possibly. Uh, let me see real quick. Playoff leaders, is Brandon Jennings here? No, Steph is, wow. Where's Brandon Jennings? Is he not doing anything? Uh, but Monte is averaging 20 points a game in the playoffs, so there's that. Gotta take on the Milwaukee Bucks. They have, I know that they have Brandon Jennings, Monte, and Larry Sanders. Ooh, Ilya Silva. This team actually is not too bad. Uh, FK, FK or Ekpe, Tomato, Tomato, JJ Redick. Um, nothing else too crazy here, but I feel like the Bucks are going to make it to the NBA Finals. That's just what I'm thinking. Uh, all right, game one by eight, game two by 10, 3 0. Oh, no, don't just. Okay, good. As long as we don't get swept, I'm fine. As long as we don't get swept. Life is great. Okay, and we get eliminated. The Kings and the Bucks. Who would have thought? And the Milwaukee Bucks win the... All right, all right, okay. Don't tell me Monte just won fine. Oh, my God. Monte finals MVP. So, apparently, in uh, 2K13, when you progress, you know, a little bit, when you when you get to, you know, Season 4, Season 5, uh, Shumpert's an 87 overall. Let's go ahead and accept it. DeRozan for Shumpert. Straight up, the trade has been accepted it's worth it to get Paul George. Shumpert, first round pick. Norris Cole for Paul George. Let's go ahead and do it. Welcome, PG, to the Miami Heat. So now our team. Yo, yo, this team actually looks pretty nice. All right, Paul George will be our second scoring option now. We got Shannon Brown, PG, Mello, Carlos Boozer, and Ricky. There it is. Yeah, Ricky. With a Sheik, Damian James. Team's looking nice. I like this a lot. Currently, we are uh, at the trade deadline. And hey, look, we are playing the Pacers in the first game. We are 32 and 22. Let's see if we can beat them. Continue continue simulating. And we lose to them by 13. Of course we do. Of course we lose to them by 13. Uh, what happened on our end? PG led us with 22, 7, and 4. Mellow with 18. But uh, it will take just a little bit for the teammate chemistry to set in. Just a little bit. And of course, as soon as I say that, I see that it's at 90%. Here are our player stats on the season. Carmelo Anthony led the team in scoring. Then we got PG. Uh, Ricky Doyle also contributed eight and a half board. Yo, look at look at these rebounds right here from our big three. I like that a lot. Uh, one block a game could be higher, but I'm definitely not going to complain if he's giving us eight rebounds a game. Let me see real quick who the Nuggets traded for Kemba Walker. Like, yep, yep, Ty Lawson. And maybe Iggy. No, okay. He just he just he just signed there. All right. So round one. I don't know exactly who we are facing, but uh, we are about to find that out. All right. So we're the fifth seed taking on the fourth seeded Raptors. Uh, they do have Lance. I know that obviously. 
Uh, no, they... Oh, okay, yes, they do. All right, 80 overall. Lowry, they have Jordan Marshall, 89 overall point guard. They took him with the seventh pick in the... Okay, okay, okay. you took a dude with the seventh pick, and he's 89 overall. Okay. Uh, Rudy Gay, Terrence Ross. Oh, no, I do not like this. I don't like this at all, but, I mean, we have Mellow MPG, so I'm feeling kind of confident they win game one by six. Okay, no big deal, because we end up winning game two by a lot of points, and we win game three by 12, and we take the 3-1 lead, and we just best not be blowing it, there we go, taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers now, this team low-key kind of scary though, um, they have Kyrie, and they have, uh, yo, Dion's up to a 92, oh my god, Dwight Howard, 91, Thompson, Alonzo G, Mo Spates, this team is not that bad at all, Dion Waiters is a 92 overall, all right, uh, can we beat the, the Cleveland Cavaliers, Okay, we win game one. We steal home court. I We steal home court again. 2-0. Okay, 2-1. I don't like that a whole lot. 3-1. Just don't blow it. And we are good. On now to the Eastern Conference Finals. Winning by 15 in game number five. Mello with 42 points. We are back now to the Eastern Conference Finals. Taking on the Atlanta Hawks this time around. Pretty sure last season we took on the Milwaukee Bucks. Hawks, Josh Smith. This was back when he was good. Uh, Dwayne Vern took him with the eighth pick. In the 2013 draft, and he's an 86. All right. Uh, Al Horford, Lou Will, J.J. Hickson, Chandler Parsons is there. Uh, Jeff Teague is still there. Jonathan Elliott, Devin Harris. Okay. Um, I don't know how to feel about this team, but I I like our chances a lot. We lose game one by a lot, though, so that doesn't help me. That This is not helping me. This is not helping me believe in the team. This is not helping me believe in the team. Okay. 3-1. Oh, my. Okay. You know what? <sighs> we made it. To the Eastern Conference Finals two years in a row. That's the best that we did. The Denver Nuggets win the NBA championship. Kemba wins finals MVP. Uh, yo, who was even on that Nuggets team? Who in the world was on the Nuggets team? That's just what I want to know. Um, I feel like if I went on to another season. Yo, Anthony ran off. I forgot he was a beast in this game. All right. JaVale, 81. All right, so that's who was on the Nuggets. Um, I feel like if I went on to um, another season, we would actually do something. But... Um, I'm not going to go on to another season. This video is already probably going to be way too long as it is. So this was the final roster at the end of, I believe, four seasons. Carmelo Anthony, Paul George, Ricky Doyle, Carlos Boozer, Mario Chalmers, Damian James, Jawan Johnson, Shannon Brown, Omer Achik, Michael Red, Kirk Heinrich, and Kwame Brown. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comments section what game you guys want to see from me for next week's Throwback Thursday. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace.